वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल गाइस सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर सीरीज ऑफ सॉल्विंग द डीएसए प्रॉब्लम्स बाय द नंबर ऑफ शीट सो आवर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज केडेंस हैव गो बट इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व्ड देम हियर लार्जर सम क्वांटिटीज ऑफ अरे इट्स द सेम प्रॉब्लम सेम लिंक ओके आई थिंक ही हैज पुट इट इन पुट इट इन हियर बाय मिस्टेक सो लेट्स मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज मर्ज इंटरवल्स लेट्स सी व्हाट डज द प्रॉब्लम से The problem says, given a collection of intervals, the task is to merge all of the overlapping intervals. The example is: let me write down the example there at the note section. Then I will explain you what you have to do. It says one, three, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So our example is one, three, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. it would be easier to show you what you have to do if i showed it on the graph so this is the graph here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 okay so the first interval to second interval third interval fourth interval first interval starts from here goes up till here second interval starts from 2 goes up to 4 third interval starts from 8 goes up 6 from starts from 6 and goes up to 8 and similarly fourth interval goes starts from 9 goes up to 10 now if i say you that if we you if you see the cumulative of this graph can you say that we are using the intervals 1 to 4 6 to 8 9 to n that is three intervals but here are four intervals so that means the range of what two intervals is overlapping and if i'm not wrong then two second and first the first and second intervals are overlapping that is the two and some more elements lies in the range of 1 to 3 So the problem says it says us that remove such kind of overlapping intervals. Remove in the sense merge them, like one two three plus two two four can also be done as one two four no effect because it is using one two three two three four union gives us one two three four which is equals to one two four. This is the this is all you have to do. the brute force approach for this problem is even more complicated than the optimized problem so let us see what is the optimized problem here i say let me write an example again it says 1 3 2 4 6 okay i say because it is not been mentioned in the question that these are the sorted like If you see, it is given to be sorted here, but this is not always always the case for all the test cases. It is not be given that the intervals are sorted according to the first value. I say sort them out. Okay. You say how to sort them? I say use the STL. Make the pairs. Like the first pair is one, three, two, four, six. Eight, nine, and ten. Then sort it. Now, what? How does the sort of sorting case of pair becomes? The sorting uses the first value to sort. So it will be sorted as by the use of one, two, six, nine. And if somewhere it is like this, one comma three, and one comma two. So then, in that case, it would use the second value. Okay, I think I am understood. i have made my uh, statement clear so i say put it into the pairs and sort after that what you have to do take an answer array because if you can see you have to return a vector or vector of int all right i say take an answer array of type vector or vector of int and do one thing push it push the first of the sorted array Push the first element into the array. So answer contains one comma three. Okay. Now what you have to do? Now I comes here. Okay. 
See if the first element of the ith index lies in the range 1 and 3. If it does, then check if 4, like if 4 is greater than the second element of the last element in the array or it is uh, smaller than that. What I mean to say, there are three cases possible in the case of overlapping. Okay. It can be like suppose this is the first range. So the, the three cases that can be happened because you are doing a sorted arrays, it can be like this. It can be like this equal. It can be smaller. Or the fourth case is no overlapping. I say in the case of overlapping, you can observe that this, the first index of the ith element, is always lies in the given range. And for the upper limit, you what you have to use to, the, uh, to, to determine the upper limit you have to put it in. For that, you have to use the maximum of this or this. Because in this case, it would be like this. In this case, it would be like up to, going up till this. In this case, it will be going up till this. So it is like this. And in this case, it will be this. So what I'm doing is that left limit is the same. And right limit is the maximum of two. Okay. If overlapping is happening, pop, uh, remove this element from the array and add the left comma right. In that case, you will uh, obtain the answer. Let me try run it for you. Let me do a pseudo call for you. Okay. So it was a 1, 3, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Okay. These are already sorted, so don't need to sort them. So let's construct our answer array. Answer array contains 1, 3. Now what we have to do, we have to pop it out, answer array becomes empty, check if 2 comma 4, now 2 lies in the range 1 comma 3 and 4 is greater than C, so a new range is 1 2 4, push it back in, it would become 1 2 4, now pop 1 2 4 out, okay. Check if 6 lies in range 1 to 4. No, 6 does not lie, does not lie in range uh, 1 to 4. So, pop 1 to 4 inside and 6, 8 also inside. So, the array becomes 1 to 4, 6 to 8, both. Then pop 6 to 8 outside. So, it again becomes 1 to 4. And check 9 to 10. 9 to 10 also, knows, 9 also does not lie in 6 to 8. So, pop 6 to 8 and 9 to 10 also. So, the final array becomes 1, 2, 4, 6 to 8, 9 to 10. Okay. So, this is our answer. Let's check if it's matching the expected output. If you observe correctly, yes. 1, 2, 4, 6 to 8, 9 to 10. Let's code it down. I will explain you anything you need to know in the code. I think it will. the code will make your out clear. I said that make a vector of pair that would make us make it easy to sort. Okay. For that you have to use this. Oh also one thing. The property I mentioned to you in the cases of pair that the, it, it sorts the first element etc etc. If you use the vector or uh, sort property in the intervals, it will be same. The answer would be same. The sorted sorting algorithm will work the same. So instead of making the pairs, I am just using a sort here. Intervals dot begin. Intervals dot end. After that, what you have to do? Make an array for answers. Answer dot push back 
intervals zero, the first element of the intervals. Now for i equals to the remaining elements, so I will start from one. I will go up till intervals dot size minus one and i plus plus. Okay. Now our condition starts. Int initial left is equals to let me say that in 10 equals to intervals dot answer dot size sorry answer dot size i would not have to mention again and again no? is equals to answers n minus 1 0 so similarly initial right would be answer n minus 1 1 and int new left is interval i0 int new right is intervals i1 what was the condition that if new left is lying in the range left to right initial left to initial right that would be written as is greater than initial left and new left is less than equal to initial right now this condition is uh, not being used because we have already sorted so in this condition is always hold okay but i've written it for your betterment your understanding then what you have to do ans dot pop back remove the existing interval from the answer array and ans dot push back initial left with max of initial right and new right as discussed okay after that things are clear just return the answer array i hope it works let's try to compile and run it No, it is not working. Oh, I just in case I have not in, written the. What if the condition fails? Then nothing. Answer dot pushback. Intervals I. Because if, if there is no known overlapping, we can just put the ith element in the answer array. Let's try to compile it. I think it will work now. I have not missed any point. Yeah, it is working for compile and run. Hopefully, it will work for submit also. Yeah, all the death cases have been passed. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please, your comments would be valuable. See you in the next video while we solve the next problem. Keep struggling, keep hustling, and crack a good play. Thank you. Shop.